Hello students. Today I shall explain to you how to write a learning design for the subject English. Now basically learning design in English has seven sections. In the first section you have to write down the details about the school, the class, the lesson unit, the subunits and today's lesson. In the second section you have to write down the goals that is learning goals or objectives. You have to enlist them according to revised Bloom's taxonomy. In the third section you have to write down analyze learners and context that is contextualizing the lesson that is against what background you are teaching the lesson is kind of introducing the lesson. In the fourth section you have to write develop and select learning materials that is what kind of teaching learning materials you are using for the lesson and uh, in the fifth sec sec section you have to write down what are the learning strategies that you are using to execute the lesson conceptually in uh, according to key concepts or according to lines or stanzas then you have the sixth section that is design for evaluation where you have to uh, write down the questions along with the objectives that is dimensions and or uh, write down the worksheet uh, prepare a worksheet which you are going to distribute to the students and finally the seventh section is diagnosing weaknesses for remedial class now we come to the first section the first section is the details about your school the class section see name of the school which class you are teaching which section you are teaching what is the duration of the period 40 minutes or 45 minutes name of the teacher you have to write your own name and whichever date on whichever date you have actually delivered the lesson you have to write down that date under subject you have to write English and then lesson unit you have to here write the topic which you are teaching that day then you have to divide the lesson into different subunits. You can divide it stanza wise, paragraph wise, whatever it is depending upon the lesson or uh, in case of grammar you can even uh, do it as per key concepts and uh, in the first uh, comp uh, subunit usually you do the, uh, you introduce the author or the poet okay, or the chief con com uh, concept and then finally we come to today's lesson that whichever subunits you propose to teach that you mentioned that and the details of that. Now we come to the next section. This is the most crucial section that is learning goals or objectives. According to revised Bloom's taxonomy, after the completion of the subunit concerned, the students will be able to, like that you have to write and then you have to enlist the objectives based on each and every component that is you have the cognitive dimension and the knowledge dimension so the knowledge dimension has to be mentioned here and the cognitive time uh, process domain that is that has to be mentioned here uh, one after the other and uh, remember the action verbs these are the action verbs that you're using they should be as per uh, rules that is as per already enlisted and you would find them already available on the internet as to what action verbs are to be used in case of uh, specific objectives uh, or uh, specific dimensions of objectives. So here you have to enlist the objectives uh, based on uh, their different dimensions. Just remember something uh, in case you have confusion regarding uh, under which topic to enlist them or under which heading to enlist them, you can uh, just you try to try to think that what the students are going to do, what the students, what uh, uh, what processing or what mental process they are going to go through while uh, in order to uh, you know achieve this objective, then only you will be able to uh, enlist them or put them under the specific domain. Like in certain cases, for example, uh, in case of fill in the blanks. In case of fill in the blanks, it can be based on conceptual knowledge also, it can be based on factual knowledge also, it can be based on application also. For example, 
if you are writing uh, an object uh, for example if, if you are giving a question wherein you just want to know an information which is already there in the lesson for example it is already mentioned in the lesson that uh, this particular person visited such and such place so if you give the name of the place in the fill in the blank then that is a remember factual knowledge right okay remembering factual knowledge type right? and if you are uh, giving for example uh, something where wherein conceptual knowledge is required for example based on the story we can infer that such and that such and such person um, has this predominant feature or characteristic of this like this so then that will be you know uh, like conceptual knowledge okay so uh, or maybe you know the mood of the poem is like this so that's conceptual knowledge and then you can come to uh, that is application based for example you are asking the students uh, you know to fill up sentences which are uh, you know new sentences unseen sentences but there you have, they have to use textual words apply textual words in new situations there again you know they are doing applying apply application that is applying conceptual knowledge so here you know it depends upon the question that you are giving so it's better it's if you can Uh, sit with the questions and the objectives simultaneously, and frame the objectives corroborating with the questions that you set. Okay, so in this way, you have to complete setting the objectives. Uh, in this case, you know the writing of the objectives. You can write full in, uh, like this also, or you know, if suppose sometimes the uh, some some objectives may have, you know, both may come under both dimensions. So in that case, you write it in this way that they are coming under both dimensions. all right for example if you are asking the students to write down a paragraph on your favorite season okay so then that is that comes under create uh, it can come under metacognitive knowledge or it can even come under conceptual knowledge or uh, you know uh, you can say metacognitive knowledge means uh, your favorite uh, less uh, season that is something related to their own um, uh, self knowledge and then they are they are applying certain procedure to write so their procedural knowledge is also involved so there when you have more than one dimension involved then you write it in this way okay then we come to the third section that is analyze learners and context here you have to write down this part as it is that is to know about the students level of proficiency in listening comprehension and speaking and to a certain their entry level behavior in terms of their present context the following questions will be asked by the teacher after showing whatever you for example a chart or a flash card or whatever a model or you can even just plain ask questions so this is just the skill of introducing where you're contextualizing the lesson and you're just enlisting the questions you're going to ask the students at the beginning of the lesson in the next section what you do is you just enlist whatever teaching aids you are using develop and select learning materials that is uh the textbook which textbook you are using and for what purpose you are using it all right uh, for example if you are using a dictionary or maybe a thesaurus or flash cards or maybe chalkboard or whiteboard or charts what they are what are they about so that you have to elaborate then in the next segment you have to write down about the learning strategies here you have to you know uh, make two columns that is learning areas and then related strategies then you know you have to divide it that is uh, strategies as per you know you can do it in terms of key concepts or you can do it um, as uh, you know one after the other you know for example uh, in terms of uh, lines you can quote the lines or stanza wise or whatever it is so you have to take up each segment and then you have to write down whatever strategy you are using on the right hand side that is Uh, whether you are using a chart or for what purpose and then individual activities involved or not whether the student is reading aloud the information or there is group activity or not you know whether or paired activity or not use of blackboard wherever there is a use of blackboard uh, in each segment you know in each segment suppose uh, uh, for example you are teaching uh, introduction to the poet or the author and you know the first stanza okay so if for that you have to write down you know whatever activities you are using whatever strategies you are using you have to write down you have to display the board work and explain what board work what the board is being used for okay uh, and uh, in each case you know like uh, for example you know you, you can have individual activity or group discussion okay what teaching learning material you are using and for what purpose and then uh, 
board work that is that has to be displayed okay so in that case you know uh, you can uh, you know you can use flash card or you can uh, uh, and even the teaching aids if you are using a chart also that also has to be displayed here on the left hand side board work has to be displayed on the left hand side now uh, we come to the next segment that is designed for evaluation here you have to write down give a worksheet or you know prepare a worksheet and or you can uh, just end this the questions and uh, if you are preparing the worksheet which you are giving to the students then you have to write down the instructions uh, also as to how to write the uh, answer the questions and you have to also mention uh, you, in that in worksheet you don't have to mention these dimensions but when you are just enlisting the questions in your learning design then you have to in each question on the uh, after each question you have to mention both the dimensions which are involved in it okay so uh, then you uh, you enlist the questions and the dimensions in this uh, section and finally you have diagnosing the weaknesses for remedial class that is Uh, in case you have seen any problem, for example, some students were not able to answer the uh, analytical questions, or maybe students had problems with pronunciation, or students had problems. Some students had problems with spellings, you know, or maybe they made grammatical mistakes. So that way, you you just note down uh, whatever may weaknesses you have noted. In certain cases, uh, if you see that no, you did not notice any weakness, then you can write that no weaknesses were no noted uh, in this class. so uh, that way uh, but this is uh, this portion is supposed to be written after you have executed the class that is it's only after the your class is over that you can realize what weaknesses were there in the students so that is going to be the base for your planning for a remedial class in which you can help them recover or remediate their problem so this is all you have to do and uh, mm, but of course uh in in this case you have to make sure that uh, in uh, whatever the le learning design may be you have to give sample uh, i mean you know miniatures of uh, teaching aids that you are using charts and a miniature of the board work all these things are compulsory to be given so that is all about um, a very brief brief discussion on the format for writing learning designs for the subject pedagogy of teaching english thank you students